It's long overdue, but it's high time to give Ty France some praise. He has absolutely been one of the most consistent, if not the most consistent hitter in this lineup through the first half of the season, and that includes Julio Rodriguez. Thankfully, he was able to finally make the All-Star game as he was snubbed initially as a reserve, and I feel like he was sort of penalized because of the fact that he had that freak injury where the ball's misthrown a little bit as he's playing first base, and he catches it in odd angle, and the hitter hits his arm, and it knocks him out for a couple of weeks, and that seemed to sort of dim his chances of making the team. Nonetheless, there was an injury. He has been added, so yay for Ty France, and it is well-earned. This guy has hit around 300 every year of his career except for his rookie year. Of course, he came to our Mariners in a fantastic trade, another fantastic trade by DePoto, where he was able to also bring in Taylor Trammell and Luis Torrens and not give up a lot for this guy. You know, it's funny. When you look at Mariner history, the full years that they've been around, there's been really two positions that have been the main kind of almost black hole positions for this organization, no matter who is the owner, no matter who is the general manager. The first one is undoubtedly left field. I mean, we just, it's like spinal tap drummers out there. I think at one point or time, another Ken Griffey Jr. had played with like 472 left fielders in his time in Seattle. But the other position that doesn't get talked as much about is kind of the first base position. Now you've got Mr. Mariner, who was great there for a good period of time. Alvin Davis, of course, in the 80s. And John Olerud for a very short period spell there was good for us at first base as well. But it's been mainly a revolving door of different guys coming through. You've never just been able to consistently get somebody locked down in there. And it feels like finally Trey has embedded himself there. And you've got one of your middle of the order players here, be it bat him three, four, five, wherever you want to put him. And he's going to be good there for you in the lineup. It seems like every time this guy swings, he's barreling up the ball. I rarely see him caught in between on his hands where he's caught up on the small part of the bat. He always gets the barrel on it, which means that every time the ball is coming off his bat, it's usually screaming. It's usually also on a nice line. He doesn't have a real uppercut kind of swing. So everything is just peppering, peppering line drives all over the baseball field. And he can use all of the field. This is not just a pull hitter, which is an important part. If you're going to bring a right-handed batter into that stadium, You've got to have a guy that can use all of the fields because if he's just going to be a strictly pull hitter who's going to try to yank everything up over that left field porch, as we've seen with hitters like Adrian Belty and Richie Sexton coming in, they're not able to be as productive as they had been in the past because they're just going to lose some home runs on the warning track because it's just hard. With that marine layer in there and the way that they designed the ballpark, the ball just doesn't go out the same way that it will go out to the right side, whereas you sort of built it to Griffey's stroke, of course, his left-handed stroke. So it's a little easier to get it peppered out there. And with France, he really has a way of being able to utilize the whole field. We're in a day and age right now in baseball where so many of these players are dealing with shifts because they're, they have the, the batters just refuse to go the other way. And I understand it's hard to do. I understand you got a picture with the movement and the velocity they're bringing now. It's hard to go the other way. It's an easier said than done situation. But again, not for France. And he does it Well, again, always getting solid contact on the baseball, which is a very difficult thing to do. I just love the consistency of his swing. He goes up with a uh, with a plan. He's got some kinds of sort of some shades of Edgar to his game. He gets hit a lot. Got one of the most hit batsmen in all of baseball because certainly he's going to get up in on that plate and he's going to try to take away the inside half of that plate. He can get those hands in a little bit like Edgar too, where on the inside pitches he can get them in and get the the barrel of the bat through the zone fast enough. Where just because he's up on that up on that plate doesn't mean that you're going to be able to just kind of get him inside and, and get him worked off there. So a guy that I hope remains in the long-term plans of this team. It's funny, you know, you look at it where they're starting to come along now. You've got first base locked down, shortstop locked down, catcher locked down, center field locked down. You've got a figure between Kelnick, Lewis, some of the other guys you got down there on the farm a little bit that you're going to get one of the other outfield positions figured out, which really ends up going to leave you with third base left field maybe, and second base as the three positions that you can look to upgrade in the far future as the rest of this lineup starts to lock down. But France is sort of the the middle part, the consistent part, that metronome part of your lineup that's absolutely necessary if you're going to consistently produce runs in this league, as we've seen in the last 10 years, where we always haven't had that consistent presence there, just always going, always rolling. And he's been pretty good in the field as well. He's not just a horrible there with his glove as well. He can pick it. I like how he plays with it. He's, he's able to got a good night wide reach range there at the first base. Some of those guys sometimes are a little limited in how far they can stretch or how much they can get as far as clearance goes. It shows on the play where he got injured where he's reacting the ball and jumping up to catch it and and trying to make a great play even in that moment. So a fairly complete player as well. 
but I love him as part of this lineup going forward. And again, he is having a great season, Mr. Consistency for our Mariners.